Sad life of YouTuber's most cancelled creator? Jakeshi was on track to become the next big Minecraft YouTuber mm -hmm. until he was cancelled over 40 times in less than 7 days. Who was Jakeshi? What did he do? And how was his life been impacted as a result of Brother, these actions? Let's begin by looking at an early video posted to his Twitter, during which Jakeshi would give a quick overview Stacking. of who he was. Hello, my name is Jakeshi Demetrius. I'm a 22-year-old Minecraft and just chatting streamer, and I've been streaming for like 7 years. My favorite part about streaming is the fact that I get to meet awesome people and make amazing friends. There were definitely some elements of weird in this introductory video, such as him calling himself a cat boy. It's time for my lore. I'm a cat boy. While showing his cat ear collection before stating this. I, I can meow if you want. But for the most part, this video was fairly innocent, with his right. solid reputation being summarized by the countless positive replies. In other Twitter threads, Jakeshi was described as not only one of the best people I know, but also one of the best and most hardworking CCs I know. Helping. Did he, did he keep that cat boy thingy up? I feel like that's almost just a meme that he threw in just just cause or did he actually keep that up that he was cat boy? For the most part, this video was fairly innocent, with his solid reputation being summarized by the countless positive replies. In other Twitter threads, Jakeshi was described as not only one of the best people I know, but also one of the best and most hardworking CCs I know, helping Jakeshi to get noticed by Dream, who randomly raided Jakeshi's Twitch channel. Wait, what? 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 Huh? Hello? What? There's no way. Wait. Yo, what the what? Welcome everybody, what the? Hello and welcome to the stream, everybody. What? I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> thank you guys so much. You love my nails. Thank you. Thank you for all the gifts. The dream thank you for all the. Holy. Thank you for all the biddies. The follows. Dream. Yes. Actually, dream. Before Dream would double down on the kind gesture by donating two thousand dollars to him. Dream. There's Damn. no freaking way. A two thousand dollar donate. Dream. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Thank you so much. What? According to a former friend by the name of Pocket, Jakeshi was an extremely hard worker and therefore deserved the recognition. Jakeshi was somebody who always worked hard, you know? He never gave up. He kept things pushing when his support wasn't there. And this is just well-deserved, man. I'm just super happy for you. So congratulations, Jakeshi. And to the credit of Jakeshi, he was extremely grateful for the shout out. Posting on Twitter, invest in Jakeshi stonks right now. Thank you, dream was taken. You and your community are amazing. Which received replies of further praise such as you deserve it you seem so chill after being raided by dream jakeshi's twitch viewership exploded jakeshi was getting like 30 to 60 viewers per stream this is game changing now he's getting what the fuck why does minecraft look like that exploded jakeshi was getting like why does minecraft look like that what the fuck that water looks crazy like 30 to 60 viewers per stream. This is game changer. Now he's getting a couple hundred. While almost every single huh? tweet he'd post began to receive between a hundred and a couple thousand likes. And he's getting like, is that like some RTX ray tracing 4K ultra HD fucking HDR fucking 3D goddamn? What is that? I have never seen this in Minecraft. That's crazy. 60 viewers per stream. This is game changer. Now he's getting a couple hundred. While almost every single tweet he'd post began to receive between a hundred and a couple thousand likes. And he's getting like thousands of likes per tweet now, like one to two thousand, which is insane, bro. Like just overnight. Additionally, his follower counts grew to 57,000 on Twitch, 27,000 on TikTok, 7,000 on YouTube, and more than 10,000 on Twitter. With this growth being highlighted in a tweet reading, I'm still so shocked that I went from like 1.5k-ish to 11.5k-ish in like four days. Like you guys are bonkers. Which once again prompted reply yeah. after reply mm -hmm. of people reiterating just how much he deserved the growth. However, Jakeshi's biggest success would come four months after these tweets when he'd announced on the 25th 4th of October 2021 that he'd been invited by Dream to join his SMP. What's this? I'm one of the newest members of Dream SMP. Can't wait to make new friends and great memories. The reason this post received over 26,000 likes and hundreds of positive comments was because being invited to the Dream SMP was like winning the lottery for Minecraft content creators. For example, Tommy Innit gained 8 million subscribers yeah. in the 12 months after he joined the Dream SMP, while almost every other member has an extremely recognizable name as a part 
partial result of the server's influence. Therefore, being invited to the Dream SMP gave Jakishi an extremely high probability that he was going to be one of the next big names amongst that group, with his Twitch gaining over 32,000 followers after announcing that he joined the server. Jakishi instantly began to exhibit the same kind of outlook and attitude as these other Minecraft streamers, making a Twitter post only one day after being accepted into the SMP, reading, So I had something brought to my attention that one of my new mods said something that wasn't okay in any circumstance. They have been unmodded because that doesn't fly with me at all. That isn't the kind of stuff I want in my chat, not from mods, not from anyone. Love you guys. For people asking for context, there was something said about self-harm and it wasn't okay. Would this post seemingly try to establish the idea that he was of Weird. good morals and could do nothing wrong, which also seemed to be the goal of his countless other tweets where he was trying to come off as extremely nice and overly accepting of others. However, you should always be cautious of a creator who seems too nice because everybody has an unseen dark side and perhaps Jakishi's overwhelming kindness was nothing more than a cover-up for his own horrible past. Pass. My experience with Jakishi slash Demetrius popped up on the 26th of October 2021, only two days after he was accepted into the Dream SMP. It had been posted by a user named Ren, who had attached a tweet longer which read as follows. Due to the recent event of him joining a considerably large content creator group and gaining exponentially more exposure, I feel like it's my responsibility to bring this to light in order to prevent this person from taking advantage of more young girls. The tweet longer then explained that the two had begun talking when she was 14, Jakishi was 18 or 19, and that things had gotten heated in the chat pretty quickly. The two had joked about sending pictures to each other, which they would eventually do, and had also talked about meeting up, quote, if we would have met up that summer, I would have been 15 while while he was 20, alone in a hotel with a man who said that he would try to not make sexual advances on me. The post concluded by stating, try. I can no longer ignore it, oh. as his audience of young and impressionable girls is growing by the second. I blocked him on Snapchat, oh. Twitter, and Instagram several months ago, after we eventually grew apart, and have not spoken to him since. I also know that I was not the only underage girl that he was sexual with. Ren had all of the screenshots oh, to match, the and with the expose receiving over 50,000 likes, it was only going to be so long until Dream realized what was going on, who would take to his private tw What the fuck did I just hear? He's actually said, uh, I'll have to try. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, my brain. Oh my. What does this even say? I'll just go, what the fuck? Uh. Yeah, you haven't sent. What the f- What? No! Bro, I thought I was blocking it. No way, dude, that's crazy. It was only going to be so long until Dream realized what was going on, <laughs> who would take to his private Twitter- I can't believe that says that in that. That- Try, I'll try- Renner. Bro, she's 15! Like, why are you even in this situation? Like, what the fuck? All of the screenshots to match, and with the expose receiving over 50,000 likes, it was only going to be so long until Dream realized what was going on, who would take to his private Twitter in a post reading, remove Demetrius from the SMP for gross accusations that he also confirmed privately were accurate. No questions, no toleration. Disgusted and incredibly disappointed. We'll never let things like this stop me from trying to uplift members of the community and smaller content creators. It's part of what makes our community great. So stick together, be there for people who need it, and always be safe online. However, Jakishi being removed from the Dream SMP was really only the beginning of his problems. On the original expose, a user by the name of Mackerel had replied by stating, my friend had a bad experience with him too, indicating that Jakishi may have been a repeat offender. Well, over the next 24 hours, 18 different people came forward explaining that they had had a similar experience. We talked on Discord and it started out innocent until he suggested that we add each other on Snap. 17. Bring up my age pretty often and always ask Bro, me if I never tell anyone because he people he did this what the fuck doesn't want to get exposed like he is right what? now. Like this was his biggest fear. He brought it up so often that I don't know how I missed the fact that he had other victims. The funny thing is that Bro, I- I don't even mean to laugh about this shit either, but like what the fuck? Like I, I my brain can't comprehend this is brother straight. Oh man, that was crazy.
after I turned 18, he never interacted with me in a sexual way again. I was a young minor, 12 to 14, not saying specific age. I told him I wasn't comfortable with those 12, jokes and how he needed to stop. He never stopped. Bro, it's got lower. I didn't want to completely cut connections with him no. because I trusted him. He was my best friend no. and I didn't want to lose the person I enjoyed talking to. We were 11 slash 12. We lied about our age and said I was 13. We were on a Discord server with Jakishi. We ended up DMing each other because of a mutual friend and became pretty good friends. At first he seemed nice and we had a pretty normal relationship. But about a month or so in, it became very weird. He would ask to call us constantly even when I said no and make NSFW jokes to us even when we said we were uncomfortable. By the following day, the count of allegations had reached 30. More than by 30! By the end of the week, approximately 41 Wait. people had come forward. No way! Wait, so the 40 mistakes he made, the 40 mistakes he made in the seven days were all the same mistake. No way. And the mistake he made was fucking crazy. No way. I thought like the stack of charges he had was like, I don't know, a fucking, this isn't good either. But like, I thought the man had like some, I don't know, just stupid shit he said or just stupid oh, argument. Like, what the fuck? Jesus. Oh, all of which crazy. citing a very similar experience. <laughs> Jakeshi's bizarre post from earlier requesting man, that his fans apply to- I thought man to... like maybe pulled a fucking Bruce or some shit or like, fuck, holy. It's crazy. His children had suddenly aged incredibly poorly to the extent that he didn't even try to issue any kind of apology and instead simply disappeared from the internet. Just his Twitch ghosts. channel was terminated for breaking terms of service while he deleted every single video from his YouTube channel. His TikTok was deleted, his Instagram was erased, and even his merch store was taken down completely. The only piece of remaining Jakishi social media is his Twitter, which sits vacant following his final tweet of nothing more than the word Minecraft with a smiley face face. So where is he now? Jakeshi was smart enough to never give out his surname, possibly because he knew he might end up in this situation, and as a result there's very little info on what ended up happening to him. There are Reddit threads such as this one questioning whatever happened to Jakeshi after the drama, although besides from some people hoping that he ended up in prison, the only information we have is, for all we know, he disappeared. Jeez, yikes. Dude, that was absolutely cooked.